Uh, Alright, so... I'm going to be doing another one of these um, reactionary things. I didn't really want to do another one. Because I feel like they're kind of self-indulgent and they're kind of lazy in comparison to the other things I make. But admittedly, this one I just kind of had to do. And I almost never was going to do this until this video dropped. So the context is, at some point... This woman, Niece Lone Wolf, who is a fucking crazy, ranting, shrieking harpy of a woman, who I've avoided like plague for years now, after I found her in comment sections and just all sorts of shit, just being a crazy, ranting, screeching psycho to anybody who weren't fucking near her. She's basically had a bone to pick with one of my... I guess I could call her a friend at this point. I've been in a lot of her, like streams and whatnot. We've talked a lot. I genuinely enjoy her content. She has a very unique... I guess you call it unique selling point. that She archives old PSAs. Um, and she comments over them sometimes on streams. And she plays video games. Uh, she's called Megby Rigby. And I really... I, I think she's... a. a well, I, I think she's good police. And what I find really frustrating is that this fucking psycho bitch is constantly bringing Megby up and constantly saying really derogatory and shitty things about her for virtually nothing. She's just like, oh, you tried to help Adrastia, who, for those of you who don't know, Adrastia is a pink-haired, screaming homeless woman who runs around the streets. I made a Sims series about her, um, which was like the only content that I've ever done and I only really ever want to do, because I find this, uh, I find her to be a very boring topic at this point, like I feel like everything that's been said about her has been said about her, but Nice is still obsessed like a carrion feeder, just hovering around the fucking comment sections of anything Adrastia related and James Robert Clark related, and she just attacks anyone that tries to help either of them and it's just i know it's a lost cause helping these people but niece is just so psychotically angry about the idea she's like freddy krueger in the nightmare on elm street remake you can't save her that's niece that's what she's like she just fucking pops up and starts assaulting people she's never even met because oh they want to help somebody even if they're misguided like what the fuck but anyway i was gonna leave it because i thought you know what this is probably gonna cause more trouble than anything but niece is fucking obsessed with just constantly bringing up several people who i think are perfectly fine people and some of them I even consider to be almost, I, I consider some of them to be friends. So she's like attacking these people for no fucking reason. And I grow tired of it. And I was so close to just leaving it and not bothering. But then she went and does it, did this shit. So I'm going to react to this video because this video sums her up and all of this stupid drama so fucking well that I might as well just go for this. Okay, let's go. Long time since I've made a video. Yeah, it's been like a month, and I think. This is the last time I'm going to address yeah. any of this fucking shit. Fucking shit. <laughs> I love how she's talking about this, but she started all of this. Like, every problem she's ever had, she's instigated. It's, it's brilliant. Because I'm tired of it. Aw, oh, oh, bless. You know, I'm tired of fucking seeing you and hearing you screeching at people who I think are okay because you're a fucking dumbass who can't fucking take seeing something that she just doesn't agree with. I don't know any of you to give one solitary fuck. Right, so the first thing you need to know about Niece Lone Wolf, she will constantly say, look, she's, she cares so little she even put it in the title of the video. She doesn't give a fuck. And she will constantly tell you that she doesn't give a fuck. She will make hundreds of videos saying that she doesn't give a 
fuck because that's how little of a fuck she gives. She cares so little about all this, she makes like a thousand fucking videos a day just saying I don't give a fuck. Meanwhile, she'll send like a thousand psychotic emails to somebody up until the point where Adonis Paul himself or Hatman has to say, bitch, just chill out. Um, <laughs> she cares so little that she's made this 10 minute video and a bunch of other 10 minute videos basically screaming and ranting and screeching her fucking lungs out because she cares so little about what you think about her that saying her name will cause one of these fucking videos to be made. What you think about me or what you feel about me? Re. Well, since you don't care, I'll say it. I think you're a piece of dog shit. I think you're the lowest of the low. I think you're worse than the quote-unquote lol cows that you harass and send threats to on the internet. And I actually think you're... I feel repulsed by the fact that you're in my fucking presence. When I saw you first appear in Hatman's community, I felt dirty sharing the same chat room with you. So that's what I think and feel. You don't care, so it's not a problem that I said any of that. You are names on a mother fucking screen. Names that you obsess over, rant about, screech about, send threats to, you know. Also, I, I did some research before doing this, and I rewatched Gage's uh, little, like, things on her. Because she had a, an altercation with Gage the Loudmouth. And honestly, like, the bizarreness of her response to him. It always gets sexual with her. She's always accusing every. She's probably going to accuse me of trying to get in her uh, clown pants over this. And she's like, oh yeah, everybody wants to have sex with me. That's why they got a problem. No, it's because you're a fucking psycho bitch. And anybody who's seen a photo of you is not only not a attracted to you, but I'm permanently asexual now because I saw it, so thanks. That is it. Okay. Sure, Jan. A lot of you seem to think that if you type my name and tell a string chat how you feel about me, that that affects me in any sort of fucking way. Well, I have heard that if you say your uh, niece Lone Wolf in front of a mirror three times, niece will fall, <laughs> fucking jump out in the mirror and guide your eyes out. Sorry, she will gouge your eyes out with her thumbs. I've yet to test that theory, but... It doesn't. Yeah, I can tell. That's why there's a nine minute and nine second video on the subject. And a lot of you dickheads are going to go... Oh, if you don't care, then why are you making a video? I, I love how she's so self-aware she'll say that. But she's not self-aware enough to say, well, you know, maybe they have a point. I'm making a video because I'm sick of fucking seeing it. <laughs> sure. You pack of fucking losers. You're 45 years old, approximately, and you spend your entire life just shrieking on the internet. Attacking people who are about a third of your age over trivial, stupid bullshit because you've got nothing else in your life. Probably because you behave like this in the real world and everyone ran away from you. I don't know. But... Sitting in stream chat, gossiping about someone who is so insignificant on the Richter scale of fucking YouTube. So, if anybody actually mentions you and the fact that you're a psycho bitch, they're apparently, what? So, you, you're against the idea of people just saying, I don't like this bitch because she's a fucking asshole. Okay. Well, unfortunately, there's a thing called the First Amendment, which doesn't even apply to me, but in, on this platform it does. And unfortunately, I can talk about you if I feel the need. I prefer not talking about you. Like, I prefer to talk about something more interesting, like... I don't know. 
arse warts or something, but there we go. And your lack of self-awareness about it is fucking pathetic. She always talks about people's self-awareness. She is either very self-aware and just doesn't give a shit, or is so lacking in self-awareness that it's actually painful. I don't know which of the two. Maybe a bit of both. I don't know any of you fucking losers. Then why do you go at them like the witch from Left 4 Dead running at them with your fucking crazy cat lady claws shrieking at the top of your lungs like, YOU CAN'T SAVE HER! Every time fucking anybody says, Hey Adrastia, maybe get a job? You always just appear and start fucking shrieking and running at them. And even all the people who... who are on the same side as you, like, they also think these people are fucking nuts for trying to help them. Even they think you're a psychotic bitch. I've not met a single person who has a positive thing to say about you, including the few people you simp to on this video, because she has a few people that she simps to. Um, which I'll, I'll probably be able to talk about that in a bit, because something more prominent comes up that will get me onto that topic. What about that does not comprehend in your retarded fucking heads? We Grown fucking adults. Grown fucking adults ranting and shrieking on the internet because people are talking about them in comment sections because they spend their entire fucking life attacking people in comment sections on the internet. Re. What kind of fucking adult spends, 45 year old adult, spends all of her fucking time ranting and shrieking about how she don't care what people think about her, despite the fact that if anybody says anything remotely negative about her, she completely loses her fucking shit. Gossiping like old fucking bitches in a knitting circle, no offence Maureen. Yeah, you have to say no offence Maureen, because if Maureen was pissed at you, she would fucking bury you alive. <laughs> That's what I was talking about. So, there was... The, okay, so she had this beef with Lady Damocles, who is one of Hatman's friends. Now, originally, I was confused as fuck, because I'm subscribed to Lady Damocles, and I saw none of the videos she responds to. From what I understand, um, it's not the real one. There's like an impersonator or some shit. I, I don't fucking follow. But what I do know is that, that whoever that was, whatever that was, made the very good point that Nice will not target people in Hatman's community. She will not give shit to people who are friends with Hatman. Harley has nothing but disdain for niece like i don't blame her because i don't but she will not fucking say shit to or about harley because if she does hat man will fucking burn her alive and i find that so true because i've seen her fucking creep around those two's fifis whilst going around the back of them and attacking the weaker members of the pack in her eyes I'm not calling people like Meg be weak, but I'm saying from her perspective, that's what she sees them as. She just looks for people who she thinks are weak and goes for them. She went after um, Ranter in Shades, and then when Gage and his community came out, she started screaming and ranting about how she was being harassed and gang stalked and whatever else. Um, it was a few days ago I, I watched that shit, so... Well, it feels like a few days ago. It could have been yesterday for all I know. My sleep pattern's a bit fucked, so my perspective on time's a bit screwed up, but oh well. <laughs> but the point is, she attacks people if she thinks they're weak enough that she can pick at them like a carrion feeder. But if another member of the pack comes, she will fucking freak out and run away. That's actually why she went missing for a month. Because she basically flipped her shit. Because she thought she was being harassed by Randolph Vance. She believes this Lady Damocles is Randolph Vance. Now, I don't know much about Randolph Vance. Besides that one Lolberry stream. Lolberry stream. It's hard to say. I keep saying, wanting to say Lolberry. 
is Lolbrary. Um, despite that one stream, I don't know much about him. All I know is he was a pain in the ass who kept appearing in Hatman's fucking Discord and kept tagging everyone to watch his shit stream and nobody wanted to watch it. That's all I remember. And I remember muting Hatman's stream for a, uh, Hatman's Discord for a while because I got sick of being pinged by him mid recording or whatever. That was like the only thing I know about Randolph. And she, without any real evidence at all, because I looked at this Lady Damocles channel, there is no connection between her and Randolph Vance. None. But, <laughs> fucking Niece Lone Wolf is shrieking her lungs off, I found you, you're Randolph Vance. There's no proof that she's Randolph Vance, but she's obsessed with the idea that this fucking uh, Lady Damocles fake is Randolph Vance. I've heard of, I've had a look um, in the comments of that, and Randolph Vance is, I think, the only person that they've come up with fight as to who it would be but most people are saying it can't be because she's too articulate so I don't know I mean it could be the real one for all I know it just seems unlikely because she had a decent channel I don't know why she'd abandon it to make a new one but whatever I don't think it's the, the real one I don't really care that much to be honest this is why I don't want to know any of you. We. Because you're fucking losers who have nothing better to do than to sit in a stream chat and gossip about people. Isn't that literally all you do on these dog shit videos? Talking about people, talking about people, talking about people, 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 people. You do nothing but. There's just, like, there's nothing on this channel, if you want to call it that, which is, <laughs> which is remotely, which is her talking about anything other than just people and getting a fucking knickers in a twist, a granny panties are like a fucking skipping rope right now because somebody's talking about her, but she sits on a channel all day, every day, just talking shit about everybody she comes across. It's, it's, the hypocrisy of it is hilarious to me. You know what the fucking sad part of that is? Your existence? The majority are fucking men. Oh no. You estrogen. These men. <laughs> filled little bitches. Ree. I was in a stream chat. Where are you? That's this really morning interesting. Because I couldn't fucking sleep because my insomnia was playing up. By the way, when you gossip about someone in a stream chat. If you mention niece, she will wake up in the middle of the night. She will find what stream you're talking about her on. And she will fucking shriek at you. There's this thing called stream chat replay. It's their fuck. They're going to see it. You it's almost like they don't care if you see it because they have no respect for you. You estrogen filled little bitches. Free. You know, another point that the fake Lady Damocles made, which I can't help but agree with. Every single thing she has, comments are disabled. And she's like, oh, well, you can PM me on Twitter. Why does anyone want to do that? But the thing is, like, there's, like, two avenues of communication at best with this woman. And she constantly cries and screams about how she doesn't care about what people say or think. But her comments are disabled. She also completely flips her shit if you follow her on anything. Which I find hilarious. If you if you subscribe to her, she gets really angry. Uh, she has a YouTube channel, and she's recently made a video shitting on all of her subscribers, saying, "I don't care about seventy eight of you, all seventy eight of you. I'm angry where because seventy eight people sub to a garbage channel, which I find really funny. I've never seen anyone get that upset about having subscribers, but there we go. Straight. Were you? And do you know who the majority were that were gossiping about me? 
Are you repeating yourself or have I accidentally fucking just backtracked? Did I accidentally hit this? Or is she just repeating us? I don't know. actually watching this, this stream. Watching. So because a bunch of individuals decided to talk about you and a, a bunch of other individuals decided not to, the specific thing about this which is most significant is their gender and literally nothing else. Okay. Was on, what was on the screen? It was a fucking man acting like old cunts in an eating circle. I mean, you are an old cunt in a knitting circle. You're that crazy bitch from the crazies that stabs that cop to death with a knitting needle. Ben, that, that there your husband downstairs. <laughs> oh, Jesus! <laughs> Like your existence? This is why I don't go into commentary community. You fucking liar. You're in all of them. You're in every single fucking one of them, poking your nose in whether the vast majority of the community want you there or not. Discords. Because I don't want to know any of you fucking losers. Yeah, because, you know, someone saying you're a dumb psychotic bitch is the same thing as, you know, actually having to get to know them on a one-to-one -one basis. You're a fucking idiot. Especially when you do shit like that. That you think your name on a screen should invoke any kind of feeling in anyone. Are you fucking kidding me? You've literally been shrieking at the top of your lungs for 4 minutes and 37 seconds because some men decided to have a conversation about you being a fucking psycho bitch. I don't know what was said, but as far as I'm aware, most of them were probably either making fun of you just generally or talking about how shitty of a person you are. You think you're that fucking important. You think you're that fucking important because you're just constantly... You're constantly going around telling people what they can and can't watch and what they can and can't say all the fucking time. You're gatekeeping the Adrastia and James community like fucking Astaroth. And yet for some fucking reason you seem to think that anybody who dares criticise that is the one who with a overinflated ego. I hate to break it to you, bitch, but you're the one with the fucking entitlement complex here. Nobody else on this fucking platform feels the way you do about what people can and can't watch and what they can and can't say. It's just you. I don't know any of you. I don't give one fucking solitary fuck. Yeah, you give so little of a solitary fuck, you made about five minutes of content on it. Brilliant. What do you think or feel about me? I feel... Rep I feel disgust looking at you. Feeling... Sorry, I feel disgust looking at your channel. I look at... The fucking hypocrisy of you saying you want to... Help... Adrastia. And then... You just do all this shit. Look at this crazy shit. Just, just pages and pages and pages of just fucking shrieking at a drastia. A homeless woman who's fucking crazy. And I know that people make fun of her. Like, I'm not saying nobody should or that nobody should criticise her. But what Nice does is not criticism or comedy. It is just psychotic, 
shrieking at anybody who happens to get in her way. Like, and she has the clitting nerve to talk about other people and their self-importance when this is how she lives her life. I don't know you. I oh my god, how many times have you said that one line? I'm going to end up fucking blacking out and waking up with it scrawled all over my walls in a minute. I don't know you. Oh my god, shut up. Ree. <laughs> I was in an eight hour fucking conversation with Stetson Hardwick on Monday night. Well, I wasn't in the whole conversation. I was in like the last hour or two. And he is less annoying than you to listen to. You are not a physical person in my life where I should give any kind of fucks what you think. So you make a nine minute video and all you do is say the same thing over and over again. Now the point that I was responding to, or the, the point that made me want to do this, is coming up. But it, you've got to get through a lot of this dumb shit first. And I'm going to make people see this because what there's no way you'll understand otherwise. Me. She just says this none over and over again. None of you again. fucking know me, and none of you ever fucking will. I don't fucking want to know you. you. Like any fucking disgusting growth that's spewing pus, I don't want to know it intimately. I don't want to know its origin story or why it's a disgusting boil on the side of my arm that's spewing pus. Sorry, spewing pus. I just want to slice it off. Throw it in the trash and move on with my life. And that's what everybody wants to do when they meet you. Slice you off, throw you in the trash and move on with their life. Because this is all you do. This is all you've done for years. And if anybody actually listens to you, if anybody actually gets to know you, you just try and get inside their head and fuck with them. As I've seen before. It's just... <sighs> So when I went back over um, the thing, I noticed that Nice is constantly trying to convince Ranter and Shades as friends that he's the problem and that he's crazy and that they need to have him committed because he's a quote-unquote psychopath. He's like the nicest, chillest, normal guy I know of. I don't know him, I've never spoken to him, but he's so normal. And so nice and so fucking calm. He's one of the few people who hasn't completely lost their shit whilst debating Stetson, but apparently he's a psychopath. Okay. Meanwhile, this screeching crazy bitch here is, go is just going to tell you, oh yeah, throw him in the nut house whilst I sit on Bit Shoot and Odyssey all day screeching. Also, she's fell out with Bit Shoot lately. I don't know why. I get YouTube because. People don't like her there, but nobody watches her on BitChute, so I don't know why she's, like, upset about that. I love this dead air, it's the best part of the video. Get some fucking self-awareness. You first. Because you know what happens when you sit around and care about names on the screen? You become Nice Lone Wolf. You end up like Mary. Ben. You are basically Australian Mary. No joke, you are basically Australian Mary. You're, well let's see, middle-aged, check. Dyed hair, check. Psychotic, check. Screeching, check. The fucking obsessive behaviour, check. Like, you're the same fucking thing as Mary, and yet you constantly stomp around the place, insisting that you're, like, somehow superior to her. Okay. Been there, done that, no thank you, do not fucking want. <laughs> Been there, done that, so that implies that, yeah, she is aware that she's the same thing as Mary, but doesn't really want to fix that, so... Am I logged into Odyssey? 
your name oh, on a I screen. Am. I thought my profile would come up. But... About your internet feels about me. I don't give a fuck. Great, so you're not going to give a fuck about this video, which means it can basically stay up without you screeching about it. I guarantee if she ever finds this, she'll fucking make a stupid little screechy odyssey recording like, No! I don't give a fuck! And this is the last time I'm going to say it. No, it's not. You're going to say it five more times. I don't care if you make a stream about me, Meg Rigby. <gasps> Wait, Meg never actually made a fucking stream about you. She mentioned you in a stream that wasn't about you, but you came up because you were on her mind at the time because you wouldn't stop screeching in a comment. So that was a bit different. It's a bit disingenuous of you to say, you made a stream about me when actually, in actuality... No, she simply brought you up while streaming because you were on her mind. In fact, I probably brought you up because I made fun of you to boost the morale every now and then because she was a bit... I don't know, I got the impression she was a bit worked up because this crazy fucking bitch was shrieking in her comment section, which, to be fair, I totally understand because Niece Lone Wolf is the stuff of fucking nightmares. She's the, the fucking thing that your mum warned you about when you strayed too far into the woods but no Meg hasn't made any fucking streams specifically about you and the fact that you watch hours of this young woman playing video games so you can look for your name so you can shriek about it on the internet Jesus you are fucked do you know that Like, you are actually really fucked up if that's, like, how you spend your life. You watch other people's content, not because you like it, not because you're getting anything out of it. You just want to hear your name to give you an excuse to shriek. And yet, you're telling a bunch of men who talk about this behavior to get some self-awareness. Why don't you get a fucking grip? Hmm? Dumb bitch. You have a fucking nerve calling anyone a dumb bitch. When every fucking bridge you've ever had, you've burnt. You've got some fucking nerve calling anyone a dumb bitch when you legitimately think that Gage is going to be fantasizing about fucking you when he's married to a beautiful woman his own age. You've got some fucking nerve calling somebody a dumb bitch when you spent months screaming at, well, you spent like a week, sorry, a month ago, screaming at Randolph Vance about not caring and whatever. And it wasn't even Randolph Vance. <laughs> Randolph Vance has ran off the internet. He's not around anymore. And you're fucking freaking out and accusing him of everything. You've got some fucking nerve talking about being a dumb bitch when you've literally pissed your entire life away, picking random fights with people on the internet for the best part of five years, up to a decade. I haven't followed you too closely because you're boring. I actually had to do all of the content related to this, which was, I think, these four videos and a few others. Yeah, that one and that one. Yeah, I watched all these. Just just for research, but it was fucking boring. And I don't want to ever have to fucking talk about you again. Simply Shireen, dumb bitch. Nice lone wolf, dumb bitch. <laughs> Hope you two are real fucking proud Randolph fans use your videos for his fucking female alt account where he's using text to speech you dumb fucking bitches <laughs> what that's their fault that you you have a great case study that you've given them a great case study in which they were able to find examples of you being a psycho bitch i don't know who fucking runs it um it could be anyone for all i give a shit i've not been paying attention to anything these past few months it could be Randolph for all I fucking know, but I doubt it, because literally nobody but you seems to be on that impression. But the thing is, that I find really funny, is 
this person finds examples of you being a fucking weirdo and uses them and that's apparent it, it, it's not your fault that you gave them those examples it's the fault of the people you harassed who became examples of people you harass and you talk about getting some self-awareness fucking hell I don't know you people. Why are you making hours and hours of content about them then? Read. I don't want to know you people. Then fuck off. Nobody asked you for you to be here, and nobody fucking wants you continuously to be here. You're a fucking whiny crybaby bitch who spends her entire fucking life begrudging people their success because you piss yours away doing this dumb shit. You haven't given me any kind of fucking reason why I would want to know any of you. Normally, people don't need to give you a reason. Normally, you get to know someone through actually speaking to them, which you don't do because you're a lone wolf. And basically, you find things out about them, you find out what they're like as a person, and the more you talk to them and the more you get to know them, you start to either like them and trust them, or dislike them and think, nope, fuck that, or alternatively you just think, yeah, we've got no chemistry, there's no need to keep talking to this person. Or you can do what you do, which is just basically hide away from any form of communication and just come out of your little cave every now and then to scream at people. You know, those are your four options. You pick number four. Deal with it. Sitting in stream chats assuming you know shit about me. The thing is, you're about as transparent as a fucking window. Like, nobody on this planet needs more than two videos of yours to know exactly what you are. You're 45 years old and you've never grown an inch from when you were probably 15, ranting about how you don't care what people think about you and blah, blah, blah. There's people like you that made people leave Facebook because Facebook is just full of your types. Everybody knows who you are. You're not remotely complex or interesting. You've not got layers. You're just a screaming psycho bitch with a tendency to be hypocritical. Why do you fucking care about someone you don't fucking know? I'm just going to bring this up and point all these fucking videos about Adrasti. Not for any reason, and Randolph, and James Robert Clark. It's got nothing to do with this point, but, you know, I just thought it was worth, you know, bringing them up. You know, just to remind you that they're there. Yeah. I just I just find that, you know. Oh wait, why why wait why do you think you're the one who's gonna make a drastia get a job? Hmm? Hmm? Why 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 do you think that you're the one that can save her, niece, you fucking bitch? How dare you try? <laughs> Losers This is what a winner looks like, everyone. This the only thing is to call you, because it's the it's yeah, you're, you're right. Anybody who watches your video loses out, so that does technically make them a loser. I am now more of a loser because I have watched your content. Thank you. That's pathetic. You're so fucking pathetic that you're a lone wolf because your pack fucking ditched you. Because whilst they were all howling, ready for a hunt, you were shrieking. And they've decided that you weren't even a real wolf. You were just some sort of fucking hyena. One more minute to go. Come on, you can do this. So for the last time. This isn't going to be the last time. You're going to fucking make another one of these. I don't know any of you. I don't know any of you. I don't want, I don't to, want, know want you. to know any of you. I don't want to know any of you. I don't care about you. I don't care what you say about me. Re, re, re. Yeah, okay. Well, if, I I, if I predict what you're going to say, can we just skip ahead? Thanks. One 
Solitary fuck. Fuck. Yes, thank you. If you don't like me, and you're spilling your internet feels in the stream chat about me. So by saying you're a psychotic bitch, that's literally the same thing as me breaking down crying and talking about some traumatic experience that happened to me. No. I'm just going to sit back and laugh at your pathetic ass. Yeah, instead of reading the comments and actually thinking, you know what? Maybe me behaving this way is resulting in people like having this negative opinion on me. I'm going to sit back and laugh. And then cry about it later. Makes sense. A lot of you need to realise you're not fucking important, as important as you think you fucking are. And you're not important at all. You're a dime a dozen screaming, ranting, rancid little bitch with absolutely nothing to offer anybody. And you have the clitting nerve to go after people who actually have a chance, a foothold in the communities that you obsess over. I think you're pissed at people like Meg being that. Not because of anything they've done. I think the problem is that people accept them a lot quicker than they'll ever accept you. And you fucking hate it. You can't stand seeing people have friends, have communities. I don't think you want to be a lone wolf. I think you're just stuck there because you cannot be a decent person for five minutes. That's what I think. I think you hate these people because they have a foothold in Hatman or Adonis Paul's communities. And nobody in those communities likes you. And you see Megby getting like welcomed by those people and you fucking hate it you hate people being compassionate because nobody's compassionate to you and you don't know why why do people want to help mary more than they want to help you why are people nicer to mary more than you and it never fucking occurs to you that you are somehow worse than mary never occurs to you that maybe, just maybe, people don't want anything to do with you because you're so fucking toxic that nobody wants to handle to handle you at all, even with protective fucking gloves on. Nobody even wants to criticise you because they don't want the headache of you screeching about them for hours. I am a masochist who enjoys this kind of dumb shit. But people like Hatman and Adonis Paul, no, that's another thing. That the fake Lady Damocles got right. They do look down on you. They haven't said it. But I can see. I can see it in like the way that they just sort of see you. And just go. Yeah. No. No. Don't want anything to do with that. I, I think she was right on that front. Or he or whatever it is. I'm going to say she. Because you know the persona is a she. But. Honestly. I don't really fucking get how you don't understand. Or maybe you do understand and that's what's driving you to insanity. I don't know. But all I am going to say is that people like Meg B don't fucking deserve your... They don't deserve to be the focal point of your frustrations because you wasted your life being a mistake. That's my point. These people have their own problems and they don't need you. They don't need you being a problem. They don't need you fucking shrieking at them like a fucking crazy person every time they say or do anything. You are names on a fucking screen. You're not even that. Comprehend it. Comprehend? That's a big word for you, isn't it? Fuck. And it ends. Right. No, I don't want to fucking watch another video. I, just, I, want to, I never want to watch another video again. I want to crawl into bed and have a cry. Right. So that's Neat's Little Wolf. I was going to make a purgatory video on her and talk about everything that I've talked about. But in honesty, 
she's not worth booting up Adobe Premiere and doing that much editing for. I'm probably going to have to edit this a bit because I have flubbed so much that it's probably going to have to need fixing. Probably going to have to need fixing. That's a brilliant sentence. Sorry, my brain's melted watching this crap. So, to sum up, the people who this fucking bitch attacks, don't worry. She does this to pretty much everyone and nobody fucking cares when she does. And if she attacks you, that probably means you're better than her. And I even extend that to fucking Mary. Don't know about James, I say she's on par with James. In fact, her and James would make quite the couple, I have to admit. But as far as Mary Adrastia goes, honestly, she gives me less of a headache than this fucking bitch. So yeah, that's it. Nice Lone Wolf, Australian Adrastia. Maybe instead of fucking randomly attacking people on the internet, maybe you should just put the wolf to sleep and spend the last few decades you have left making up for the many you have wasted. That's my advice, but you're not going to take it. You're just going to shriek at me and go, How fucking dare you? So what's the point? Right. Okay, that will hopefully be my last reaction video for a while because, honestly, I I don't know. Um, I feel kind of guilty. These take up time and uh, the viewer's time. Less so on the editing front, but they do take up viewer's time. I am aware. And I am aware that they are self-indulgent. I am aware that, you know... But this one was kind of personal. I wanted to do this one. A bit like the Cranium one. I just kind of had to, you know, just say no. Uh, I have recorded another one of these. So while this is the last one I'm doing, but I will be uploading another one at some point. I just kind of want to stealth upload that one because I don't want it pride and place. <laughs> I don't want anything to do with Cranium 99 pride and place on my channel because it just makes me feel dirty. Whereas if it's stealth uploaded with something else, I could live with that. Anyway. Um, yeah. Hopefully Meg B will not have a load of shit because of this. And hopefully Nice gets the fucking message that the people she attacks are liked more than her have more of a right to comment than she does. And frankly, I would prefer it if Nice went away and those people stayed. Toodles.